Hello everyone, this is Bao Phoenix here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a bootleg pirated game, or what some people like to call them homebrew games, whatever which term you prefer. We're going to be taking a look at one of those types of games, and this one is the one and only Crazy Bus. Now the first thing that came to my mind when I first heard this title was Arthur, if you remember that kid show or whatever with the Arthur the Aardbark or whatever. Yeah, well that was the first thing that came to my mind when I first heard this. And it was released in 2004 on the Sega Genesis only. And some of you guys are probably wondering, why the hell is there a Sega Genesis game made in 2004? Well, these pirated games or whatever you want to call them, yeah, I just like to call them pirated games just because, I don't know, I like pirates and shit. But anyways, they're independent games or ROM hacks or whatever type of thing you want that are made from scratch, and pretty much, they can be released anytime. Hell, there's even still some to be even be released for today, on older consoles. And it was developed by someone named Tom Scripps, who is from Venezuela, or at least I'm assuming he's from Venezuela because that's what it says, made in Venezuela. Now, there's not very much info I can give on this game, so that's what I'm going to say about just the introduction of it. And I'm pretty sure if you know what this game is, I think you would understand why. But if you don't, well, let me show you how this game works. So the first thing you do after you pass the title screen is that you select the bus you want to select. There are such buses as the, the Irizar, the bus car, what is that, like a bus and a car put together, the Enkava, whatever the hell that means. And finally, your stereotypical school bus, which doesn't even have a name, but you know what, it's just a motherfucking school bus. And after selecting the one that you want, then it takes you right to the game, but of course you have to see some flashing colors and shit first, but then here's the game looks like. And wow, some game we got going on right here. Yeah, just look at this, just look at this shit right here. Like, isn't this just like the most like phenomenal thing you've ever seen in your life? Like, isn't this just like, just says the word, crazy bus right in your face and look what happens when you cross the bus over the screen it comes back out to the other side okay now you're probably wondering what the hell is the objective to this game well you believe it or not there is no objective to this game you're just a bus on a screen going around in a circle without even realizing it and that's all you do doesn't that just sound like fun like doesn't that sound like the most like hardcore game you ever played in your life like, holy shit i just realized something this game could have won Game of the year 2004, yeah! Okay, okay, time to be serious for a minute though, but really though, what the fuck am I looking at? So obviously you can tell, there's no story, there's no objective, there's no nothing. This game is just fucking limbo. And I'm not talking about the fun type of limbo where you have to go under the bar, no, I mean limbo as in like fucking purgatory. Now I guess the next thing I could talk about is just the controls and whatnot, and well... The controls are okay, I mean all you do is you press forward on the d-pad and you move forward, or you can press back on the d-pad and you press back, and you can also honk the horn. Which doesn't even sound like a horn at all, it just sounds like a random beeping noise, but whatever. It's interactive, okay? It's like the only button that you can press where it actually does something. So overall, the controls are very simplistic, but I mean for a game like this, yeah I'm not gonna say anything, they, they, they just suck. Now as for the graphics for this game, they're fucking horrible. This is most likely the ugliest Genesis game I've ever seen in my entire life so far. Hell, even if this game was made on the NES, it would look fucking garbage. Fuck, I've even seen better looking games on the Atari than this. Or how about this, the Magnavox Odyssey can do better than this. I mean, at least the Magnavox Odyssey was simple. But either way, it looks like fucking vomit. But one thing I do find to be really weird is that every time when you boot up the game or when it just loads, you have to watch this like psychedelic old style computer type shit. But I mean, it, that even that, it looks like fucking crap. So overall, I would have to say that the graphics in this game are fucking shit. I mean, like, really shit. Even shittier than, like, anything that I've ever seen in, like, the 16-bit era. Now, I see the music in this game. Oh, man, you just gotta love the fucking soundtrack in this game with its, like, one song and this one song that I'm gonna play for you right now just because I want- I feel like being an asshole and, my god, you're probably never gonna forgive me. Doesn't that sound like god? Okay, to be serious for one minute, how the fuck is that music? Now, I have heard some pretty shitty music before, whether it came from a video game, a movie, or even just like a CD or whatever. But either way though, it just sounds like a bunch of clusterfuck of noise put together that wasn't even like constructed properly. I mean, even I can probably make something better than this. And I can't believe I'm actually gonna say this though, but yeah, I'm gonna say right here, right now. 
I think this music is worse than Justin Bieber singing in the band Blood on the Dance Floor with dubstep going on in the background. I don't know, but I think this music is worse than that, if it's possible. So after seeing a comment like that, let's just leave the music as it is. Now the only thing I can think about having fun with this game is just to use your imagination with the bus going around on the screen. Oh man, I'm so drunk, I don't know what's going on, I, I can't even drive this bus right here, I what, is this going forward and backwards, I don't fucking know. But either way though, it looks like I'm fucking humping the ground. I'm gonna run over you, you motherfuckers, yeah! Alright, let's pick up these people right here and, oh look, you're a prostitute, right? Yes, I am a prostitute. Okay, well you can get on the bus for free because, well... I have some special service I want you to give me, so yeah, so I'm gonna let you go in the bus for freeze, and after I'm done my shift, let's go to the back and you can go suck my dick. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of insane, right? Well, either way, this is what happens when you play Crazy Bus for too long. You start literally going crazy. Wait, you thought it was called Crazy Bus for nothing? No, this game will literally drive you crazy, like, so hard. Like, why do you think I made up that shit? Because I'm going fucking crazy with using my imagination. Even though I know it gets boring after a while, but not even after a while. It gets boring within, like, a minute of gameplay. Like, seriously, though, this game serves no purpose whatsoever, and I really don't understand why someone would want this game at all. Now, how much would this game cost? Well, I don't even know if you can even buy this game. Hell, I think this game only exists in a ROM formation, if I remember correctly. I don't even know. In fact, I can't even find information on that at all. But from what I have seen on the internet is that I have found a picture where it showed a box of Crazy Bus with a cartridge in front of it. And I don't know if this is real or not, but if this is real, I feel sorry for the plastic that had to be made into a cartridge that had to form Crazy Bus into it, because I mean, really, that's just a disgrace. That would be like cutting down a tree and using the wood to wipe your own ass with. So it's probably a good thing that this game was not in store, so if it was, I'd feel really bad for the people that had to buy this shit. Now, if I had to rate this game, I'd have to give it a 1 out of motherfucking crap, because if I did not rate this game anything other than a 1 out of 10, then I'd be fucking crazy. Out of 10. So, yeah, that's pretty much crazy, Buzz. All I gotta say is that, yeah, this game really sucks so bad that I have no idea what else or words I can say about it. I mean, really, I mean, if you did not listen to anything I said about this video, then go rewatch it again, because seriously, this game is like the worst game I ever played in my fucking life. Now, I don't know if you guys remember a game I did a review on, like, quite a while ago called Big Rigs Over the Road Racing. Well, if you have not seen my video of it, well, I'm pretty sure you might have seen someone else's video of it, since there are tons of them. But either way, though, I think this game is actually even worse than that. Now, sure, Big Rigs is a broken pile of shit, but let's face it there. At least, it made me laugh. And it just made my day because it was so fucking funny and bad at the same time. Whereas this... This is just fucking bad. Like, this is, like, offensively bad. In fact, I think this game is, like, probably just as offensive as Hong Kong 97. Yeah, there we go, I fucking said it. Like, I don't care if you're from Venezuela or whatever, you can do better than this. I mean, fuck, anyone can do better than this. I mean, did you guys even try to make a game, or were you guys just, like, testing shit out and just happened to release it to the public? Because if that was the case, I could understand. But it doesn't seem like that way, so fuck it. The game blows. And just because I say that, I think this is probably the worst game I have ever played in my life so far. So far, anyway, because, well, let's take a look at every single bad game that I did a review on. Pit Fighter on the Super Nintendo. It's worse than that. Friday the 13th. It's worse than that. Yu Yu and the False Bound Kingdoms. It's worse than that. Dynasty Warrior 6. It's worse than that. Super Battleship, which also happens to be on the Sega Genesis as well. It's worse than that. And last but not least, I'll mention, and not only that, I'm sure you guys are probably getting annoyed at me saying, It's worse than that! So, I'm gonna end it here and say, It's worse than Hong Kong 97. And I did that review for a special day. And maybe I should have done Crazy Buzz on this year for Review of Bad Game Day, but... No, I decided to do it for the fuck of it. But don't worry though, I will think of something good for this year. But either way though, as of right now, Crazy Bus is the worst game I've ever played, ever. And you know what's weird too, is that apparently there's another game that's related to the Sega that's called Desert Bus, and apparently that's another game that's also like really fucking pointless, and it also happens to be on a Sega console, so... Yeah, isn't that fucking weird? Either way though, I'll get into Desert Bus at some point in time, but as of right now, I just want to stay the fuck away from buses, because buses like piss me off now.
But yeah, I think one more thing I will say about this game, then I'll be over and done with, because I think I could have, like, made this sh video, like, super, super short, but instead I'm just kind of going on and on and on, so I think I'm going to say one last thing, and that is that this game truly is GBK standards, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's probably a good thing. So I hope you enjoyed this review, thanks for watching and commenting, and never play this piece of garbage! Wow, now that is a very nice manual you got there.